In this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to do the take-home reader with an early reader who's usually a prep student. So Vivian, what can you tell me about this book? What can you see in the picture? I can see people. What are they doing? They are playing music. Do you know the name of any of the instruments they're playing? One's playing a guitar, mm -hmm. one's playing a piano, and one's playing a tambourine, mm -hmm. one's playing a keyboard, and one's playing a drum. And do you know what sound piano begins with? P. Good. And it's called I Can Make Music. Can you point to the words as you say I them? I can make music. Excellent. So to begin with, we looked at the front cover and we talked about what the book was going to be about. It was important to get the student to do most of the talking and the adult to do the prompting. With early readers, it's also important to encourage them to point to each word as they're reading it. So as we're reading this one, you're going to uh -huh. point to each word as we go. Yes. If you go, you show me how you do it, Vivian. I can play a guitar. Can we check this word here? It's T-H-E. Yeah. -E. The. Right, let's go back and reread it again, pointing to each word as I you say it. I can play a guitar. I'll show you what it says and you can have another turn. I can play the guitar. You have a turn. I can play the guitar. Can I help you with your hand? Mm -hmm. Show me your pointer finger. Let's go here. I, I can, can play, play the guitar. Guitar. Yep. So uh, this student had a miscue on one of the words. She was saying a instead of the. So I gave her a hook that I knew that she knew uh, the letters in the. So if I said to her T-H-E, that gave her a little cue to say, oh, that word says the. And then I helped when she was losing her one-to-one, -one, I held her hand. It's called giving them a helping hand and helped her to point to each individual word as she was reading through. Vivian, would you uh -huh. like to turn the page? Excellent. It's important to encourage the children to turn the pages of the book themselves just gets them to develop their knowledge of concepts about print and how it works and to develop that independence as they're reading. Let's have a look at this page, pointing to the words as you're reading. Mm -hmm. What's a little uh, girl, before we start, what's a little girl doing in the picture? What's she playing on? A drum. A drum. And can you point to the word that says the, the T-H-E word? Check it again. Have a look through. Before you go, have a look through. Over here, that's right. Can you say the? The. The. So I can play the drum. You have a turn. I can play the drum. Okay, this time when you do it, make sure you're pointing to each mm -hmm. word. I can play a... Can I help you with your hand again? Yeah. I... I can play the drum. Fantastic. Shall we try the next page? Yep. What's, what are they doing in the picture on this page? Um, what instrument are they playing? A piano. The piano. So just to give Vivian that little cue in before she reads the text, because it is a little bit challenging, so she's checking the picture for that extra meaning source. So we might leave that there. We won't read that page. This text has got a very, very predictable structure, as do a lot of early readers. It's very repetitive on each page until you get to the last page where there's often an extra word thrown in that just um, pushes their processing uh, slightly and really makes them need to point to each word and attend to each word uh, individually with that one-to-one -one correspondence. As you can see here, it says um, we can play in the band. So it's slightly different. So once you've got to the end of the book, if there are any parts of the book tripped the child up or there were certain words that you think were a little bit tricky, uh, for in this case we could revise the word the and try to consolidate the knowledge of the, just looking at the letters in it. We might practice writing it. Another thing you could do at the end of a book is to talk about what happened in the story, get them to retell it, what happened in the beginning, the middle and end, or also to make some connections to perhaps in this book they might know some other instruments. So just to promote that oral language discussion about the book.